morning students today we're going to discuss uh, a topic that is the graph uh, graphical representations of different terms of physics of kinematics that uh, like position time graph where we'll discuss velocity time graph displacement time graph etc about the graph you have already got some idea in class 9 and 10 basically how to uh, represent a term two terms uh, in a graph that either you have got in the class 9 and 10 and today we'll try to discuss uh, the graphical systems where we represent different terms of kinematics in a very easy way the most important thing about graph is that you can easily represent at terms by uh, showing or by expressing which reference to a graph so let's discuss today about uh, graph and uh, I have to told you that we'll discuss graph means we'll discuss in kinematics first of all a position time graph you kind of note down position time graph Position time graph will be our topic today. So, what does posi position time graph actually mean for? Position time graph, if you see in this kinematic sector, we'll have so many types of position time graph. Okay, uh, if I say like displacement time graph is also a part of position time graph after that your velocity time graph this is also a part of position time graph so and so there are so many types of position time graph we will discuss today but as per your chapter is concerned we will discuss generally position time graph and velocity time graph in the position time graph as a result we will find the information of velocity and in the velocity time graph, as a result, we'll find the result as acceleration. So let us discuss today position time graph. In this case, let me give an example of it. So if I take an axis here, suppose this is x-axis and this is y-axis. This is y-axis. So this is I am taking as x-axis and this is I am taking as y-axis. Generally, in the x-axis, we represent the time that is t, and in the y-axis, we'll represent the position. We'll represent the position might be x, y, or anything it can be as you want. So here might be displacement, here might be velocity, here might be distance. In class nine standard, you have studied distance time graph. Okay, distance time graph. So here you will go a little bit apart the displacement time graph followed by uh, velocity time graph. So like that if we represent then this will be uh, known as position time graph. That means in one axis it is position and in the other axis we represent the time. So let's not make late and let's go for straight to the displacement time graph for a discussion today. Displacement time graph. We know that if we divide displacement by time, we'll find the, the this velocity. Okay, so let us consider topic today as displacement displacement time graph. This is your displacement time graph. So this is the topic today we are going to discuss. So in case of displacement time graph, also we'll take the same two axes. Suppose I am having here x axis, this is this is x axis and this is your y axis. So far I have taken in the x axis I am going for time and in the y axis I am going for say displacement and displacement I have say it is x understand so let us suppose this is t is equal to 0 that is your origin this is t1 this is t2 this is t3 this is t4 
so like this it will be continued and this is x1 these are x2 these are x3 like that it will be continued understand so in this case what we'll find if i consider that uh, a body is a press position if you find a graph like that suppose as a result of this graph you found a straight line like that it is a straight line you have found suppose as a result you have got a straight line of this particular graph suppose this x1 this is x2 this is x3 so what you can see that time is increasing t1 t2 t3 t4 like the time is increasing but displacement is at the same position where it was at x1 if you consider that at the time of t0 displacement was x1 at the time of t1 also displacement is x1 at the time of t2 then also displacement is x1 at the time t3 displacement is x1 t4 displacement is x1 that means displacement is nowhere changing displacement is the same as it was t0 and as it is coming at t4 that means the body is at body is not changing its position that means body is not changing its position means what the body has no motion that means the body is in rest position that means you can say if you find this type of diagram that you can say that the body is at rest position i can write this a body body is at rest position body is at rest position if a body is at rest position then what will happen the velocity of this body will be zero velocity of the body will be zero understand if you find this type of graph uh, in position time graph system then you can consider that the body is at rest position am i clear if i go to the next situation if i take the same one more graph suppose i am taking a graph like that so this is your x axis and this is your y axis again the same phenomenon so this is at this axis i have gone for position and this is suppose x and this is going for your time say this is your t t is your time again same case this is i am having t is equal to 0 this is t1 this is t2 this is t3 t4 it will be continued and in the y axis suppose x1 x2 x3 x4 like that it has been continued now if you find a straight line that is passing through the origin if you find a straight line passing through the origin you can see here what happened that this is a line this line is what pass the straight line and this straight line is passing through the origin the origin means it is passing through the zero if a straight line passing through the zero becomes the result of any graph system then you can consider that that body is at uniform motion that means in this case what will happen body is at body is at body is in uniform motion body is in uniform motion understand body is in uniform motion why because if you see their graphical representation or slope that is x1 displacement at t1 time x2 displacement in t2 time similarly x3 displacement in t3 time that means what happening in this case in equal amount of time equal amount of displace, uh, equal amount of well, displacement is changing so this is displacement this is displacement are getting my point i am telling see what happened in equal amount of time equal amount of displacement has been changing if a body covers equal amount of displacement in equal amount of time we are sure that this body is in a form motion and in this case displacement time graph what displacement time graph tells us displacement time graphs gives us the information of velocity you may write displacement time graph 
displacement time graph give us the information give us the information of velocity information of velocity so what you can gain from a displacement time graph you can gain from displacement time graph about velocity since we know that displacement by time is always equal to velocity so like that now you have find a difference between a body is at rest position a straight line and this is a body that is passed also a straight line but in this case this line is passing through the origin hence as we know the displacement time graph will give the velocity so in this case velocity is what increasing with respect to time in a constant manner that means velocity is what uniform here velocity is uniformly increasing but here velocity is not changing displacement is not changing no sense of displacement and there is no velocity that's why here velocity is going to be zero and here velocity is your constant understand in this case velocity is what constant velocity is increasing in a uniform manner is that clear here no velocity velocity is zero only here but in this case the velocity is increasing in uniform manner in equal equal displacement is changing in equal time duration am i clear next you write this particular information that us that is displacement time graph give us the information above velocity you always remember it now as you found that what type of graph graph will find in case of a body that is at rest position and what type of graph will find in case of a body that is in uniform motion now we'll go to non-uniform motion as you know that in case of non-uniform motion what happens a body covers unequal amount of distance in equal number of time unequal number of distance in equal number of time so in this case in case of non-uniform motion there will be two graph diagram we have to see suppose i am considering here two diagram now this is x-axis and this is at the same time y-axis similarly this is also x-axis and this is y-axis remember we are going to have now a body that is in non-uniform motion so this is the time this is the time and this is the displacement this is displacement suppose x similarly this is time and this is the displacement this is the displacement suppose it is x now we are going to have a discussion about non-uniform motion as i discussed about uniform and at rest position now in case of non-uniform motion there will be two diagrams as i just stated you so in this case one diagram will be like that and one will be like that by looking the diagram you can have an Im imagination or you can have an idea of what is happening here say so this is t equal to zero say so this is t equal to zero this is t1 this is t2 this is t3 this is t4 in the this axis x1 this is x2 this is x3 similarly t1 t2 t3 so i am taking their numerical numbers now in this case you can see distance is increasing with respect to time sorry velocity is increasing with respect to time what happens in this case velocity increasing velocity increasing with respect to time and in this case you can see that velocity decreasing with respect to time velocity decreasing with respect to time have you got the difference between these two diagram that in the first case what happening that velocity is increasing with respect to time and in the second case velocity is decreasing with respect to time okay so as you can see that at t1 time displacement is x1 but in t2 time displacement is more than the distance the displacement covered in the t1 time so this x2 this number of x2 this x2 is more it is not equal with respect to t1 am i 
Am I clear? So time interval is equal, but displacement is not going to be same in this case. Okay. So here, what the displacement is changing non-uniformly. Hence, the velocity is increasing with respect to time, but velocity is increasing what in a non-uniform manner. And in this case, velocity was increasing in a uniform manner. Equal time, equal velocity uh, displacement. But in this case, this thing is not happening, as you can see. So velocity is increasing with respect to time in this case, but it is not uniform manner. In T1, it is this much. In T2, it is more. In T3, it is max. So it is more than this two. Understand that? So similarly, in this case also. Here also, what happening? That at T1, say at T1, this much of displacement. In T2, the displacement change of displacement is more than which has to T1. That means rate of change of displacement is not equal in this two store. In T1 time it was something different and in T2 time it is something different. That means velocity is decreasing with respect to time. That's true. Velocity is decreasing with respect to time. That is fine. But it is in non-uniform manner. That is why we will say that in this case what you can say that body is in non-uniform motion. What you, can, you can say this number 3 diagram. Body is in non-uniform body is in non-uniform motion you can write again i am repeating you that for a body that is at rest position you will find this type of graph a straight line okay that means in this case velocity will be zero why velocity will be zero because there is no change of displacement with respect to time in the second case displacement is changing with respect to time in equal number that means in uniform manner so in this case for a body at rest for a body in in order to show that a body is in uniform motion you will have a straight line that is passing through the origin in the second case third case that body is in non-uniform motion a body will be in non-uniform motion and there will be two type of graph you find one graph is this is and it is what velocity is increasing with respect to time but in this case, velocity is increasing in non-uniform manner. Am I clear? And in this case, velocity is decreasing with respect to time. Also, this is in non-uniform manner. So as you can see, that in case of a body in non-uniform motion, you can have two types of graph. That is how we can represent uh, displacement time graph like that. Okay. So I hope you have understood it. But one more important thing we'll have. I have told you that velocity uh, displacement time graph always gives us the information about velocity. But how can you find the velocity from displacement time graph? That we'll discuss now. <coughs> you make it. I'm rubbing it. So there is a word in graphical system. You know it's a slope. And what is slope? You have also studied. So I'm not going to elaborate it, what is a slope, but uh, we'll take a little bit of concept about slope in this case. So if I consider a body is at rest position, if I consider a body is at rest position, so as we have found that this graph that is time t and say so this is your displacement. Displacement is suppose suppose something like x. Okay, so what we found that in case of a body that is at rest position, and uh, we we'll, we found a straight line. We found a straight line like that. That means a straight line will tell us that the body is at rest position. Now in this case, so this is t equal to zero something. This is t one, t two, t three x1 x2 like that will continue now in this case what does exactly slope slope means what if i make a tangent in this point my clear at t1 time this much is displacement at t2 time this is the displacement at t3 time this is the displacement hence displacement is not changing only so if i make a tangent in this point this tangent will be parallel to that particular line or not. Understand? If I make a tangent in this point, that tangent will be parallel to that straight line. 
that means the angle between that tangent and that parallel line that means suppose this is the parallel line this is the straight line we have already and i have make a tangent over here that means what will be the amount of angle so this is your tangent this is your straight line and this is the tangent i have drawn that means angle will be zero that means you can write the theta between them will be what theta between them will be zero it's clear theta between them will be zero that means in this case if i make one more tangent here then only what the theta will be keep zero because this line is straight and slope means basically if it is tangent if i make a tangent in this point that is <coughs> that is how we can find the slope so in this case if theta is zero tan theta will also be zero am i clear if theta is zero tan theta will also be zero what does this tan theta will means to us it will mean as the velocity if theta is zero tan theta that is slope is zero that means velocity is also going to be in this case zero velocity is also equal to what zero in case of body that is in rest position have you got a concept now about the slope that means we make a what tangent on the particular point you will better understand the next diagram if i take a next diagram as well next diagram means if i take a body that is in uniform motion if i take a body that is in uniform motion uniform motion means body is covering equal amount of displacement in equal amount of time remember and what will be the representation it is like a straight line that is passing through the origin t equal to zero t1 t2 t3 so this is x1 x2 <coughs> x3 like that that means what happening you can find if you find this type of diagram you can say that a body is a uniform motion now in this case if i go to find out the tan theta that is the slope remember this is now similar case i will i will draw now some tangent over this point suppose t1 is a point okay t1 is a point we have considered and uh, t2 is a point i have considered so like that you can consider t3 t4 t5 as much as you want now if i make a tangent in this point so if i make a tangent in this point what will happen this will go like that or not if i make a tangent in this point like that then angle will be what theta are you getting my point in this case the angle is zero but in this case not zero see this tangent is making an angle with this base that is zero theta if i make one more tangent in this point like that then also angle will be theta that means theta is going to be constant if you make a tangent in here this is theta if you make a tangent in this point then also it is going to be theta if you make a tangent in this point also then also the angle is going to be your theta and if you keep making so many tangent like that then also the angle is not going to be changed <coughs> hence this angle is going to be theta have you got it in this case it was zero but in this case it is theta if you keep making the tangent in this case like that then angle will be theta only so we can say that in this case the theta is what theta is constant if theta is constant so what will be that tan theta will also be constant or not tan theta is also <coughs> constant understand if tan theta is constant if you consider this is to be a triangle if you consider this one as a triangle so if i find a tan theta from this triangle what will happen tan theta is what perpendicular upon base so this is perpendicular and this is base if i join this one perpendicular is this much this is t2 and this is x2 so this is zero that means i can write x2 minus zero divided by t2 minus zero okay what the result will come out from here so tan theta is equal to finally x2 by t2 where x is the displacement and t is the time that means displacement by time is equal to velocity 
That is how we can find the velocity by making slope. Am I clear? By making slope. Slope is nothing you are making some tangent in some particular point. That is the concept of the making the slope. Or how can you find the velocity from a displacement time graph? Understand this point? You have to make a slope as you had just described it. Am I clear? Next, in case of a body that is in non-uniform motion, we have to make a diagram already for a body that is in non-uniform motion. Let us see what type of slope we can find in the body that is in non-uniform motion soon. We have already made a diagram of graphical representation of a body and that is in non-uniform motion. So if I consider, if I consider here the two diagram which we have already drawn. This is y-axis and this is similarly y-axis so this is your time this is your time this is the displacement this is displacement is x again same thing this is the displacement that is x and time is t this is t equal to 0, these are t1, this is t2, this is t3. Similarly, this is t equal to 0, this is t equal to 1, this is t equal to 3, this is x1, this is x2, and so on. <clears throat> right now, we are discussing for a body that is in non-uniform motion. That means we found two types of graph. One was like that. Sorry. One was like that. That means the body... In this case, velocity was increasing with respect to time, and the other was, the other was like that. That means velocity was decreasing with respect to time. Okay, so if a vel if velocity is increasing with respect to time, in this case, if you make a tangent in this point, suppose you're taking this point, I'm making a tangent in this point. So this angle, suppose this is theta one. Understand? If I take a tangent in this point, suppose I'm making a tangent in this point. So this is going to be what? This is going to be your theta 2. I'm going to make a tangent in this point this time. So this is going to be what? Theta 3. Are you getting my point? I'm, I'm considering some point and I'm making the tangent in order to find the slope. So in this point, I am making a tangent. This is making an angle theta 1. In this point, I am making a tangent. This is making an angle theta 2. In this point, I am making a tangent. That is making suppose an angle theta 3. So what you have observed in this case, we can have an observation that theta 1 is less than theta 2. Theta 2 is again less than theta 3. That means gradually, these angles are increasing theta 1 then theta 2 increasing then theta 3 is increasing so what do you mean theta 2 is increasing that means tan theta is increasing tan theta is what increasing tan theta is increasing means velocity is also velocity is also increasing understand velocity is also increasing that is the slope in case of a body that is in non-uniform motion but both velocity is increasing okay but in the next diagram in the next diagram if you make a tangent in this point suppose i am making a tangent in this point this is the tangent i am making here this is suppose theta one now i am taking at this point here i am making a tangent in this case if i make a tangent in this case This tangent will be what? This tangent will create an angle like that. And this angle suppose theta 2. If I make a tangent in this point suppose, so this will make a one more angle that is also going out of it. Okay, suppose this angle is your what? Theta 3. Are you getting my point? I am making tangent on this thing. See these are tangent. What I have done, I have I have done ten, making tangent in this point. Suppose this angle is theta one. 
I am making a tangent in this point. I am getting angle theta two. I am angle I'm making angle tangent in this point. I am getting theta three. So if you keep making the tangent in this case, then what will happen? Theta one will be greater than theta two or not? Theta two will be greater than theta three. That means what happen? That theta two, theta three, these all are decreasing. That means theta are decreasing means what? Tan theta is decreasing. Tan theta is decreasing, and once tan theta is decreasing means your velocity is also velocity is also decreasing. Understand? This is how we can find the slope over it. Am I clear? So I have just given an idea about the slope of these things. I just practice at home. Any doubt? Inbox me, or you can personally ask me. I'll try to clear it up, but this is the basic concept of graphical representations in case of two, uh, two, any two terms in kinematics. I hope you have got these things. For any further problems, just uh, inbox me so that I can uh, identify your doubt. Okay, for today, thank you so much.